Your Storm Team AccuWeather forecast on demand. On the downward slide to the weekend, I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik with your weather update. Thanking News 12 viewer Earl Griffiths from Soddy Daisy for a beautiful view of a rainbow over the waters up that direction. That's our Langley Roofing weather window picture of the day. If you got pictures, email them, drop them to our social media pages, or go to our main photos website at WDEF.com slash photos to submit your picture. What's left of Francine? It's not a tropical storm. It's not a hurricane. It's not even a tropical depression. It's just a big swirling area of low pressure. The National Hurricane Center has issued its last statement on this, so we're not going to be getting any more updates there. What we are going to see, as long as this sits in place right back to our west, is the potential of more showers, more thunderstorms, and with the energy this system is providing, portions of areas down toward Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi, maybe even into middle and areas of western Tennessee, could be looking at some severe weather chances tonight and into tomorrow. That's something we're going to be watching very carefully. We do have the potential of some flooding taking place, a flood watch in effect for northeast Alabama and the westernmost tier of counties in northwest Georgia. So far, not in effect for North Carolina or southeastern Tennessee. We'll keep you updated on that. A wind advisory issued and continues until 7 o'clock in the morning for basically those same areas, including into parts of Monroe and Polk counties right up around parts of the Appalachian. So winds over 40 miles per hour as we go into the next 24 hours could be making things a little choppy on the roadways. So please pay attention out there. Marginal threat of severe weather on Friday. Shower and thunderstorm chances as long as what's left of Francine sits to our west and sends more moisture up this way. More clouds, some very mild temperatures and chances of showers and thunderstorms could linger into early next week. We'll keep our eyes on that. Keep it tuned to WDEF.com weather for more and stay tuned for more tonight on News 12.